Dear students, now we are going to discuss about how to draw a parabola in AutoCAD software. We are going to follow eccentricity method. See, in this problem, they are given the fixed point is 40 mm from the fixed line. They are indicating your fixed point is nothing but your focus, your fixed line is nothing but your directrix line. The distance between your focus point and your directrix line is 40 mm. They are also given that the distance from your fixed straight line is equal to the distance from the fixed point. It indicates your eccentricity value as 1. Whenever you have your eccentricity value as 1, we are going to draw a parabola. So, we know two formulas, your E is equal to Vf by OV, your OV plus Vf is equal to focus distance. Substituting it, I will be getting your distance from your directrix line to your vertex point as 20 mm and your distance between your vertex point and your focus point has been 20 mm. Okay. Now, I am going to draw your parabola by eccentricity method in software. Okay. So, we have been already familiar how to draw your margins and title block in AutoCAD software. First, you click your line button, just made your first click over here, move towards your vertical direction, you made your next click, then press escape button. Okay, this is your directrix line D, D dash. Okay, next I am going to draw your major axis line. Once again, I have just clicked your line button, I just moving your cursor over your drawing which has been drawn. So, at your midpoint, you will be getting into a triangle. So, I will be just clicking over here and move on your x direction, that is your horizontal direction. I will be making my next click, then press escape. Okay. Next, I have to draw your focus point. First, I am going to change your line thickness. So, first, you just click your line weight settings and see to that this checkbox, display line weight is being checked in. Okay. Then, click OK. Then, once again, I just clicked your by layer and I changed my line thickness as 0.35. So, once again, I just clicked your line button. Over here, I will be making my first click, move to your x direction and just enter 40 and then press escape. Okay. Now, once again, I am going to change my line thickness as by layer. Okay. Now, I, I know my vertex point has been 20 mm from your focus point. I may just made your click on your line button. I just made a click at your focus point, move to your x direction, 20, enter, move to your y direction, 20, enter, escape. Okay. Next, I have to draw my ray line. Okay. For that, just click your draw, draw button. Over here, your fourth icon indicates your ray. Okay. Just click it. Made your first click over here and I just made your second click on your top of your line. Then press escape. Okay. Next, I need to offset this vertical line. Okay. I have to offset this vertical line into eight numbers. Okay. For that, first I am going to type it on your command bar. Your command is offset. O double F S E T. Enter. It will be asking your offset distance. So I am going to enter it as 10. Your offset distance is 10. Enter. I just selected my object. Move to your mouse to your right hand side. I just made a click. Once again, I am repeating for your 8 lines. So I have drawn offset at 2 lines. Next to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8. Then press your escape button. Next, I need to extend these lines towards this ray line. For that, I am going to use your command extend. Your shortcut for your extend command is EX. Okay. You, I have just typed EX and just given enter. Okay. I just selected your lines. Automatically, it will be extend, extending towards your ray line. Can you able to see? I just clicked your lines. It will be already extending to your ray line. Okay. Your next step. I need to measure the distance. I need to measure the distance of the line. Then only I can make your draw a circle from your focus point. For that, I am going to use your command measure. See over here on your top, you have your measure icon. Just click that. Okay. Just place it over line. See, you can see this line is 30. Your next line is 40. Your next line is 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. Can you able to see? If you just placed it over your line, you just place your mouse cursor over the line, automatically its dimension will be viewed. Okay. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Okay. I just pressed your escape button. Once again, I have just clicked your circle. Okay. So, I am going to select my focus point as your center and I am going to enter my radius as 30. First one. Enter. Okay. Next, I am going to click my circle. Your focus point is center. Your next radius is 40. Enter. Once again, repeat. Circle. Click your focus point. Your 
it will be 50 enter once again circle click your focus point your radius is 60 ok enter then click your circle click your focus point your next radius is 70 enter once again click your circle click your focus point your radius is 80 enter once again click your circle click your focus point your radius will be 90 enter your last one click your circle just click your focus point and your radius is 100 ok so now I have, I have to use my break command to convert your circle into arc what is your shortcut for your break command your shortcut is br otherwise you can type it as break b r e a k ok i have just entered your br and i just selected your i will zoom zooming in you can zoom it by rolling your center roller button i just made my first click over here and my second click over here ok then i moved it i am once again zooming your second area ok so once again i am using your command br enter I just selected this line over here ok similarly I am going to repeat it for your all your circles ok so once again break enter select your first point and second point once again break enter select your first point and second point once again break enter select your first point and second point break enter select your first point and second point ok once again break br enter select your first point and second point here yeah, once again your last one break enter select your first point and second point ok now once again I am going to zoom your window z your zoom shortcut is Z enter A enter so you can see now I have drawn your arcs next I am going to use your spline command to join your arc points ok your command is S P L I N E enter ok so C students always remember you are going to select your intersection points ok so this is my first point C over here I should get your into mark then only I have selected your intersection point ok my second I just moving it and zooming over here my third point ok I will be just moving over here I will select the intersection point your next point be careful you have to make a click only when you get your into symbol your into symbol only indicates your intersection point clear at last I am selecting your last point after clicking your last point just press enter now you can see your curve has been generated ok your next point I have to mirror it I have to mirror for your rear side for that what I have to do first I have just click your mirror ok it will be asking you to select your object I just made your first click over here and I just dragged your mouse and I will be making my second click see whether all your lines have been selected this ray line is not selected so I have just clicked it after selecting all your lines just press enter and it will be asking you to select your mirror point first line that is your first point of your mirror line this is my first point and this is my second point ok now it will be asking you whether I have to erase your source object you have to just press N and press enter now you got your parabola clear now you got your parabola students next I have to draw your tangent normal at any point of your curve ok for that what I am going to do is first I just click your line button I made a point over here ok I made a point over here can you able to see and I have joined to your focus this is my first step then press escape ok next what I am going to do is I am going to just zoom ok next what I am going to do is I have just clicked your line over here and I just made a point on your directrix line and I moved it ok first switch off your ortho for that first I have to just press F8 now you can see you can get your incline lines ok just right click go for your over, over snap overrides click perpendicular ok 
so you can see you will be getting only your perpendicular point this is my perpendicular point can you able to see this is my perpendicular point i just made a click and i just pressed your escape okay so if you want you can able to see your measure all measure your dimension also the angle between these two lines just i clicked your angular over here and i just clicked it and just clicked it see you can see it is a 90 degree line okay so this is only for your reference okay now i am going to select this line then i'll be clicking my move over here it will be asking you to select your base point this is my base point i just moved it and place it over here now you can see the line which you have drawn has been above your directrix line okay so first i'm going to just select your trim and just select this line automatically it will be trimmed with respect to your directrix line then press escape once again you click your line this is your first starting point okay just zoom it and select it properly this is my first point okay then i am going to join it over here see it has been automatically showing it as tangent can you able to see i just clicked it okay then once again i just selected this line okay so i have to extend this line okay you just select this line type your command extend e x t e n d okay and it will be asking you to select your line okay just extend enter just select this line so you can see the line has been extended can you able to see the line has been extended next i have to draw your normal okay for that what i am going to do is once again i am just click your line okay i just clicked my point over here now it has been at your direction once again you just click your right click go for o snap overrides select perpendicular okay so only you will be getting your perpendicular point so this is a perpendicular point can you able to see i just made a click over here then press your escape okay now i have to move this line i have just selected this and i just clicked your move it will be asking for your base point this is my base point i am just moving it okay and i just placed it over here can you able to see just zoom it place it correctly at the intersection point okay then i am going to just mirror i have just mirror this line okay so i just selected this line i clicked the mirror and it will be asking you to click your first point of your mirror line i am going to this i am just click this is my first point of your mirror line then this is my second point okay and i have to select no for, for your n enter you can see now i have a mirror line so i have to change your dark lines okay i have just selected your spline both the splines has been selected i have selected your tangent i have selected your normal lines clear then just click your by layer and you change your line thickness as 0.35 now you can see everything is being converted into a dark line okay then just press your escape button okay now i have to mark my dimensions now i have to mark my dimensions before i marking my dimension i am going to just trim this ray line which has been beyond your margin limits okay just select your trim select your lines okay you can see it has been trimmed okay and then after that escape zoom z to your shortcut enter a enter now i have to mark your dimensions before marking your dimensions we have to click uh, set your dimension style for that your command is dim style d i m s t y l e enter click modify okay select symbols and arrows tab see to that your arrow size is 4 next select text see tab over here your text height as 5 then select your primary units tab set your precision as 0.00 and click okay then close i have to mark your dimensions from your directrix line to your focus point and your directrix line to your vertex point okay first click over here select linear just select the first point and your vertex point you can see it has been 20 mm once again click linear over here just click a point over here and just click a point over here now you will be getting your focus point distance as 40 mm then at last z enter a enter so now 
we have drawn your parabola by eccentricity method in your AutoCAD software. Okay. Thank you all.